Hi, I'm Mark Lundstrom, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about this course that I'll be teaching. It's a course about transistors. Transistors are the basic building blocks of electronic systems. Now, this is an image of the very first transistor. This was invented about 70 years ago at Bell Labs. In looking at this image, it looks rather crude. It would be difficult to predict the impact that this device has had on modern society. Now, many people will argue that the transistor was the most important invention of the 20th century. There's a fascinating history about the personalities involved in the development of this device and its application in electronic systems uh, since the invention 70 years ago. I encourage you to have a look at that story. Uh, you can find the story online. So transistors are the basic building blocks of all electronic systems. One familiar example are these smartphones that we all carry around. They contain billions and billions of transistors. So this is a course about how those devices operate. This is a cross-section of a transistor known as a MOSFET. Uh, we'll be focusing on the MOSFET, although we'll discuss some other transistors as well. It has three terminals labeled source, gate, and drain. The source is a source of electrons. Electrons flow from the source, across the channel, out the drain, under the control of a third electrode called the gate. When the gate opens, the current flows. When the gate closes, the current stops. So our objective is to understand how this device operates. That's the first objective of this course, to understand the physical operation of this device, how we relate the voltages that we apply to the terminals to what goes on inside the transistor. The second objective is to relate that physical understanding to the current voltage characteristics of the device and to discuss how those current voltage characteristics impact the performance of digital and analog electronic systems. Now, we'll be discussing the traditional theory of the transistor as it was first developed in the 1960s and then refined and extended in the 70s and 80s. One special part about this course is that we will bring into the course the new understanding that has developed more recently when we began to be able to do experiments on the electrical characteristics of very small devices, including single molecules, and developed a deep understanding of how current flows at the nanoscale. Today's MOSFETs are true nanoscale devices. The gap between the source and the drain, the channel, is only 10 nanometers long in today's transistors. That's 100 or so atoms. The insulator that separates the gate from the channel is only a few atoms thick. So these are true nanoscale devices and will bring a new understanding of current flow at the nanoscale to the transistor. The course consists of five units. In the first unit, we'll think, we'll treat transistors as black boxes. We apply voltages and current flows. We'll understand what the currents look like. We'll discuss circuit applications, uh, what, how transistors are, are used in analog and digital circuits, and a little bit about the models, the transistor models that we give designers to help them design circuits with transistors. Unit two is a non-mathematical, physical uh, treatment of how transistors operate. Unit three is about MOS electrostatics, a traditional topic in a course like this, but one that continues to be very important. It's about how the voltages that we apply to the terminals influence the electric fields inside the transistor and control the, the flow of current in the transistor. In unit four, we'll bring the modern understanding of current flow at the nanoscale to the transistor and learn how devices with very long channel lengths but very short channel lengths down to a few nanometers operate. And finally, in unit five, we'll discuss a few additional topics. We'll talk about uh, two or three other transistors. We'll talk about the limits of transistors and some other topics. So just to summarize, in this course, you'll gain a clear physical understanding of how MOSFETs and other transistors operate, whether they have dimensions of micrometers or down to nanometers. If you're someone who will be using transistors in the design of electronic systems, this may be all you need. If you're someone who will be developing new transistor technologies, this course provides a basic framework, a general understanding that you can fill in by diving deeper into the scientific and technological aspects uh, and fill in uh, those aspects by your own self-study. To be successful in this course, you'll need a basic understanding of semiconductor physics, concepts like band gaps and effective masses. 
My edX course on semiconductor fundamentals could provide you with a good review if that would be useful. And finally, I'll mention that uh, this course is one course in a suite of courses that we are developing, a suite of one credit short courses that are designed to complement the technical depth that a, an engineer has with the breadth that is needed today to work effectively in multidisciplinary teams. So I invite you to join me in learning about transistors and I look forward to seeing you in the course.